You listened. Worried that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair. All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malikas told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which creed. you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue, unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenant, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people Ugly. mask you such that you become one with the crowd. He's probably gonna Do die. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet. The worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise, and so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. Hopefully I wasn't supposed to like try to press a button and not get killed. <laughs> He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? It hasn't it even been an hour. Stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. Now that I know how to assassinate people and sprint out through that door. Nope, too slow. Fire extinguisher or not. I can't even run? What the hell? Am I supposed to spy on the conversation over here? That's what it sounds like. Man, I can't even change my clothes. That was good. I can't even like shimmy along the edge or something to entertain myself. We can't afford to stop every time the man breaks the sweat. In fact, enough we have to trace through all of these useless members. I'll do what I can. Seriously. These are hella useless memories. Where's the run around and kill everything memories? 
Well, that one part was okay, I guess. But the guys are too easy. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Oh, I can't walk through that door. So you're really an assassin? Like Altair? Yes and no. What do you mean? I was supposed to be one. But I ran away from the farm when I was 16. Farm? Yeah, that's what they call the place where I grew up. The farm. Like Messiah, I guess. Only not so, uh, creepy. Just a small community in the middle of nowhere. About 30 of us living, you know, off the grid. Why? Thought my parents were just crazy hippies trying to stick it to the man, you know? My dad was always going on about our enemies, how they'd be looking for us, how we'd have to be prepared. <laughs> no one ever came. Nothing ever happened. Why'd you run away? I could never leave the compound. I can't you have move any anymore. idea what it feels like being trapped in a place, knowing there was a whole world out there I'd never get to see? No. As far as I'm concerned, they weren't my parents. They were my wardens, and I was their prisoner. It sounds like they only wanted to protect you. With all that's happened, I don't know. I guess they were right. What the hell? Sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up past. It's all right. Gives me something to think about. Try and get some sleep. We've got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Guess that's not where I'm supposed to go. This is so boring. Not Damn it, they locked the door. You just figured that out. We're not gonna get some sleep. We're gonna change our clothes. Or not. Alright. Let's take a shower. Or not. This is oh my god. It's one of those stupid ass games. Where the camera goes this way. And then you like when you're trying to walk out, you hold down and it keeps flipping the camera around. I don't seem to be able to do anything. It's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You've been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well, it seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and... Well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education. Re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy. And it doesn't always take. Let me guess. You've got a better solution. What is it then? <laughs> now that would... Help.